Pascal's law. Dear students, in the previous video, we have learned that force per unit area is called as pressure. That is, P is equals to F upon A. In this video, we will study the Pascal's law which describes the relation of fluid and pressure. It states that in a closed container containing fluid at rest, increase in pressure at a point will cause increase in equal amount of pressure at all points throughout the fluid. Dear students, read this definition again. Let us now understand this law. Consider a flask filled with liquid and fitted with a piston as shown. Let external force F is applied at point D. Then the pressure at point D will be F upon A. Am I right? Now according to Pascal's law, the pressure at points E, F, G and other points in the fluid will also increase by F upon A. Dear students, let's study the proof of this law. Consider a small right angle prism ABC DEF inside the flask. The object is very small such that we can consider every element on its surface at equal depth from the surface of liquid. For understanding purpose, we have enlarged its surface. Being in fluid, there will be forces on the object from all directions. If FA, FB and FC are the perpendicular forces exerted by liquid on the surfaces, BEFC, ADFC and ADEB of areas AA, AB and AC respectively. Then the fluid exert pressures PA, PB and PC on the right angled prism given as PA equals to FA upon AA. PB equals to FB upon AB and PB equals to FB upon AB and PC equals to FC upon AC. Since the body is in equilibrium, that is at rest, hence sum of corresponding component of forces will be zero. That is, FB sin theta minus FC equals to zero. Therefore, FB sin theta equals to FC Let's call this as equation number 1. Similarly, Fb cos theta minus Fa is equals to 0. Therefore, Fb cos theta equals to Fa. Let's call this as equation number 2. Looking at the geometry of the figure, we can say that Ab sin theta minus Ac equals to 0. Therefore, Ab sin theta equals to Ac. Let's call this as equation number 3. And AB cos theta minus AA is equals to 0. Therefore, AB cos theta equals to AA. Let's call this as equation number 4. Now, dividing equation 1 by equation 3, we get FB sin theta upon AB sin theta equals to FC upon AC. Therefore, FB upon AB equals to FC upon AC. Let's call this as equation number 5. Also dividing equation 2 by equation 4, we get Fb cos theta upon Ab cos theta equals to Fa upon Aa. Therefore, Fb by Ab equals to Fa by Aa. Let's call this as equation number 6. From 5 and 6, we can say that Fb upon Ab is equals to Fc upon Ac, which is equals to Fa upon Aa. Let's call this as equation number 7. But we know that pressure P equals to F upon A. So for equation 7, can we write PB equals to PC equals to PA? Yes, of course. What do you understand by this relation? 
you will clearly say that pressure is same in all directions. Now if we increase the pressure inside the flask, then will it lead to equal increase in pressure at all directions on the body? Yes, definitely. So dear students, just now you understood the Pascal's law very clearly. Applications There are many applications such as hydraulic lift used to lift heavy loads, hydraulic brakes 